What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers, and shakers, and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shan Tynes. What's up? What's up? What's going on? So welcome to another week of the podcast. So if you have not already, please go back and tune in uh, to previous weeks. So we're almost at 500 episodes. So Monday, Tuesday, our topics, Wednesday's discussion, Thursday, uh, Ask SSP or Throwback. This week will be a throwback to something else from way back when. So I think last week was season one, episode 155 with James Carroll. Uh, so definitely go back and check it out if you have not already. Uh, and then Friday's everything else, movies, books, games, all that good stuff. So without further ado, I'll give it to Shannon. All right, everybody. So this article actually comes from TechCrunch.com, and it's written by. I hope I'm going to butcher this name. I'm sorry, Lorenzo Franceschi Bicchiari. Okay. Um, so this one is titled "Hacker Leaks Millions More 23andMe User Records on Cybercrime Forum." So I, I never told you this, Ryan, but when you sent me this one, I was like, "Yeah, I know that game." So I got the email from 23andMe because I, oh, I got you. Like, yeah, I got the email, <laughs> and it was on. It was it was like a week and a half ago. It was like the 10th, 11th, 12th, something like that. It was like the middle of the week, but I did see it, uh, and I was like, "Ah, okay. Well, let me let me see what they're talking about in here." And they actually do mention. Uh, they they talk about how they don't think it was um, an infiltration. And what they mentioned in the article here is um, they think it's password stuffing. So it's just uh, passwords that were already already compromised and already known out there with, with uh, different emails, right? Because like a lot of people are going to use the same email. You're not creating a different email for everything that you sign up for, right? You usually have an email you may do something professional with, and then you got your, your junk email, so to speak, or at least I do, right? So... It's one of those things where uh, that's that's how they say that this uh, this hacker, right, uh, who goes by the name Gollum, um, he published this new data set of uh, of information from 23andMe, right? So they did the password. He he or she did the whole password stuffing thing, right? So um, they're saying <laughs> it's uh, it's records for four million users, right? So is what they're doing in there or what they have, and they're putting it on the the cybercrime forum reach forums, which. Uh, that's a that's a pretty on the nose name, right? <laughs> like, okay, is, is where we're gonna put it? Breach forums, like, uh, okay. For all that you do, you figure you'd be a little bit more inventive, but I guess not, right? Come up with something a little more clever. But twenty three andme spokesperson uh, Andy Kill um, said in an email statement that the company was made aware of the new leak today, right? So, um, like I said, this was like ten days ago that I got at least 10 days ago now um, that I got the email, but um, October 6th is when they announced that the hackers had attained some user data, right? So um, again, people, this is one of those things where um, when it comes to password, if you keep using the same password over and over and over again, this is likely to happen, right? As we get, as we get more and more into the world of today, we're, we have more and more things where it's going to require, uh, you know, an email to sign up and then a password, right? But something you could do to prevent all this, right? MFA, right? Multi-factor, multi-factor authentication, right? So, and this is one of the things that they suggested was for people to implement multi-factor authentication, uh, not using the same passwords over and over again. Uh, even when they sent the email, they were like, hey, go to the site, change your password, you know, just to verify. But uh, this this is what this is what happens nowadays, right? You start using the same stuff over and over. And I get it, right? Like it could be one of those things where um just in your life, you have so many passwords and pins and things like that. You're like, I'm again, you're not creating a different email for every one of these, right? So it's the same email. So once that's compromised one time, that's pretty much out there, right? Um, then it's like, okay, well, let's let's try this again. Password stuffing is what they did. They just tried, you know, the same already compromised passwords, and boom, here it is. You know what I mean? Like you start get people start getting lucky you know what i mean these hackers start getting lucky so uh just be vigilant out there folks you know um use a password wallet you know what i mean that'll create a password for you if you're just not that inventive you know um or if you can't think of a, a, a good good uh what are they what do they call them like uh, they tell you to try to use a oh, uh, passphrase passphrase there you yes. go yeah um when you're creating your passwords you know what i mean don't don't do common things your password one two three four things of that nature like people are still doing it out there though right so i mean it's, they're just like ah, i don't care you know whatever it is right but for this this is 23 and me right so it's got some stuff on it's got some stuff in it 
it's very specific, um, you know, about people's health and whatnot. And so something else they mentioned in this article uh, is, is a, they, they're they bragging, Gollum is bragging about having information on the wealthiest people living in the U.S. and Western Europe on the list, right? So it, it may not be something that you're like, ah, I don't care that much about it, but it may be something a little embarrassing, right? Like if you all of a sudden find out, you know, Jeff Bezos has something crazy i don't know you know what i mean it could be used to blackmail them right extortion something along those lines but uh you never know i mean that's, that could be what happens but uh ryan what's your thoughts on this yeah um so uh, interesting that you went that that route because that's that's pretty much where i was going to go with it um so if you have not already uh to the audience please like share subscribe all that good stuff share with your friends but um yeah i, I would think the the bad part out of this is not necessarily where your lineage comes from because i i I've never done the 23 and me. Uh, I've always kind of thought about it, but I know their their pool is mostly European descent, right? So you get to find out that side of your your family. Um I've always been interested in africanancestry.com is a, a a similar website, but it, it deals specifically with uh what tribe or region you came from as opposed to like what the the western colonization divided those lines. So I was like, oh that's that's pretty cool. That's all the price tag and I was like, not cool enough. <laughs> very pricey but it's it's it, again it's because it's more specific to african heritage right so the pool will be more of 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 the tribes of africa and, and what have you so maybe one day but um to come full circle uh it's it's uh it's blackmail for those illegitimate children that's what that is like that <laughs> that's the route i would go right so if you're trying to hide something like you you've opened up a pathway but uh potentially connect you with someone you didn't want to connect with so uh when you say the, the world's re re wealthiest people you have to also think um the people with the, the most to hide <laughs> so i would not be surprised if something's correlated in the future uh and on top of it um like that's not to say that i'm, I'm pro criminal but uh remember that guy got got um there was a guy who threw away a napkin at a sports game once you throw something away it becomes uh I forget. It's no longer your property. Once you throw something in the trash, public domain, right? Something like, like that. Something weird, right? Mm -hmm. And the FBI collected the sample because they needed a sample from him, and they they correlated him to a crime, and he was arrested for it. Um, but it's because he had like records in the database. Is is what it boiled, boiled down to? It wasn't this that he made a mistake and threw away a napkin? But he also had his DNA out there that was easily uh, collectible. Um, not to mention that it's also foreign entity. So a lot of these. Uh, a lot of these companies who collect this this data and then do the um the sequencing and all the other good stuff are uh usually chinese or or something like that out of, out of uh us territory so um there's a lot to unpack there like i, I won't go down a, down the rabbit hole uh cuz i I'm, I'm also interested in doing it one day myself but um again you have to be very careful with who you give your dna to so there there's that as well um i'm impressed that you got the the uh the notice so quickly like uh Typically, these things take take months. <laughs> no, it was a good. So, like in the article, they they referenced that it happened on the sixth. I I want to say, like I said, my my email was the tenth, eleventh, twelfth, something somewhere. Yeah, pretty fast, yeah. yeah. So they they came out quick with it. But we talk about this, right? Like public trust, right? Like if they would have waited months, and then I got the email, I'd be like, wait a minute, we already talked about this, you know, right. <laughs> back in October. You know what I mean? So yeah, good yeah. for them. Yeah, yeah, uh, good for them. Unfortunately, they did, they did get breached. Um, and then, if you are a uh, a billionaire, and you're trying to hide another family, you might have made a mistake. <laughs> Your time is a coming, unfortunately. <laughs> but no, it's it's just interesting. It's 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 the future, right? So there's a, another layer to potential uh, blackmail, extortion, things of that nature, due to uh, people's DNA being out there. Uh, not, and I, I don't know how much. Um, health information comes from 23andMe because I, I again I've never uh never done one but I wouldn't be surprised if they can also correlate some some factors to your health that you might not want out there as well right so it's just another layer of PII uh potentially that could be uh leveraged against you so interesting stuff like so we'll see what comes of it uh because I, I guess this is like the second issue they've had right they've had they had the initial breach you got the letter this is additional to the uh initial breach so we'll see what the future holds um but uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Please uh, hit a bell for bells associated or uh, what wherever platform you're choosing to, to view us from. Uh, please hit us up at all the websites that go by our name. And you can hit me up personally. I'm at Ry Ry Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy. You can find me on LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Twitter, and Threads. Stay safe. Stay, stay uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Stay safe. Stay secure. <laughs> Bye.